Yes, more dumpster diving. This time I found a lot of uh, these uh, TIG torches and a uh, welding uh, helmet. There were some uh, minor problems with these uh, TIG cables here, but the helmet as well, it was a bit a nut that was lost on that. Yes, here you can see the nut. There were more helmets there, which, has, uh, which had uh, more damages than this one. So I just took one uh, of these nuts from the, another helmet and put it here. So now this is uh, fine. So I thought we can take apart one of these cables here and see how they work and how they are uh, made. I didn't know that this was uh, water cooled. As you can see, I made a huge mess when I took uh, them in. Yes, I've got one of them. No, all of them have the same problem. They have lose, lost this switch here. It should be a switch here when you turn the TIG on. Or maybe they have a pedal, I don't know. But we obviously got some cable here. Controlling cable. And we've got this high current connector here. We've got this gas pipe for the inert gas. And we got maybe water inlet. Outlet. The water passes through here, goes to this torch, and goes back from this positive wire and back into the unit. I just moved it around a little bit and I puked out some water here. I put a towel here just in case. So, yes, let's begin take the torch apart. And we can see here just a quick, see what model this is. Here you can see, it's an ESAB EN 6097-47. And we got the CE marking. Hopefully that's not a China export. It got six screws. And actually this part of the wire is quite soft. And here is quite stiff. So it's pretty user friendly, this part here. It's a pretty good uh, TIG cable. Now the screws are removed. Let's open it up. Hopefully nothing bad will happen. Yes, here we go. And that's quite nice. Can you can see the switch. There's the inert gas, inert gas pipe, tube, there's the anode, or positive, or maybe the negative, depends on what you're building. Plastic here. Here's the water, here's the water. Water goes, goes in here. And it should cool all the way up here somewhere. Yes, now it's open. Here's the rubber. Should remove this uh, ring here. This piece is flying everywhere. Yes, now I can remove the rubber. I want to disconnect all the tubes and we'll see what we get. Now this part is removed. You can see here's the power. This should be the gas and this is the water inlet. And the water is actually colored blue like this. The bluish color. It should go into the machine here, but first it goes to this uh, injector that injects water in the cable from one of these rotary connectors here. You can rotate that. This is the connector going into the welding machine. And this part connects here. There's the water inlet or outlet maybe. I think that's outlet. 
the blue one is the inlet. And here's the cables that should connect to this unit here. With the water and the gas. This cable here actually has five uh, wires, but they are only two connector connections here. So the other three aren't in use. And it looks of it that you actually can connect a switch here. If I look on the torch handle, you can actually put a switch in here. Maybe, or maybe the switch is lost. So I don't know, maybe you disconnect that when you have a foot pedal. Let's get a bit messy. I want to dry, I want to pull out the tubes from this uh, hose here. Now we got the long cable here. Let's blow out some water. Let's begin with the blue one. Oops. Wasn't so much in that. Now the red one. Yes, now it should be safe. And the little mess on the floor there. Yes, that was a bit of a job. I had to cut the hose open. And there we got the tubes and the wires. Yes, yeah, so and now I have tied it up a bit. We can see what we got in a TIG hose. So I'm gonna keep these parts here. These are the good parts. Like this, this is some kind of leather, I think. It's a pretty good uh, resistance to heat. We've got three hoses, and this one is a cable as well. So this is much heavier than this blue one. I see there's some good copper in that one. Yes, I think well, there should uh, handle about 200 amps. So this can be a very thin for 200 amps, but when it's water cooled, it can carry much more current. Got this hose for the gas. Got some water hose here. These are some uh, heat resistant uh, cable. So there's lots of good uh, stuff in a uh, TIG welding hose. And here we got uh, this uh, injector. Inject water in uh, this cable here. So yes, hope you found this video interesting. Thanks for watching.